Weisling, I'm a senior. I'm Kat Wilkins, I'm a sophomore. I'm Renegar Hall, I'm a junior. I'm Ashley Marco, I'm a sophomore. We're from Waverly High School. And this is an open letter to young adult authors. Hazel and Augustus first kissed in the Anne Frank house after climbing three flights of stairs and a ladder. Otto Frank's voice came out of nowhere as the lights dimmed. Everyone in the room was looking at them. They were looking at each other with love in their eyes. They felt fireworks. Sparks danced in their mouths. Butterflies fluttered in their stomachs. My first kiss was comparably anticlimactic. He came at me open-mouthed. Open I got scared and turned my head, leaving him to suck at my cheek. There were no fireworks. My first kiss happened when we were sitting in the car with his family. He pecked up my lips like he would kiss his, his grandmother. grandmother. I didn't feel any butterflies. And when are we going to get a strong female protagonist without a love interest? We're tired of reading about love triangles. Girls can easily support themselves without one man, let alone two. Why does it matter? If he's a job and she's a nurse. Opposites attracting is a rule for magnets. Not for people! Why is there always romantic tension between two characters of the opposite gender? There are no opposite genders! Where are anything except heterosexual love interests? We're being taught that only cis white straight girls can be loved. That we will fall in love in high school and it will last forever. Sometimes it doesn't work out in the end. Not everything works out in the end. Life is not exposition, rising action, climax. Our lives do not follow the plot line. With falling actions and resolutions. Our lives don't end at chapter 23. When, when we, we finally find love, life revolves around more than just finding a mate. Because while we may be animals, we are so much more complex. We do not exist to procreate. We have emotions. Aspirations. Sometimes there are more important things than romance. My happily ever after is being a teacher. Mental health counselor. Sports psychologist. Biomedical engineer. My happily ever after is living with my four dogs, two cats, and my gerbil named Bartholomew. My happily ever after is defined by platonic love stories, not, not your boy meets girl cliche drivel. So dear John Green, dear Suzanne Collins, dear Nicholas Sparks, dear Veronica Roth, we're writing to inform you what you're writing isn't real. It's, it's fairy tale idealism, idealism and we're tired of reading it. Let us give you an idea for a character. Make her a hockey player. Photographer. Make her trans. Vulnerable. Make her suffer from mental illness. Beautiful and radiant and not defined by a boy. Make her real.